The game being reviewed today is part of our SharePlay program. Head over to our website for more details to try before you buy. Hello everybody, welcome back to WWTF. We want to play the game called Mike C. And I'm Fred Wax. Right, today we're talking to you about Tetris Effect. Now this is on the PlayStation VR. This is full. And I, I, I think it may be on the Oculus and HTC Vive as well. Okay. But I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Sorry I'm hiccuping, I've been drinking. Um, <laughs> but before we start talking about it, as always, <laughs> we got this. <laughs> we're going to rate it, give it a number of facts. That's right, that's right. Mike. Well, I, I haven't played it. You haven't played it? No. Oh, man. You missed, you missed a good one. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Oh, okay. Okay, 5 out of 5. Tetris Effect. Okay, people would probably say Tetris. I haven't played Tetris before. You know, mm -hmm. same old thing. You got the blocks, you switch it, install that stuff like that. They basically stepped it up a notch up in there. Not that you can only you can play it in VR as well, too. But as far as the sounds of it, right? How you playing this game, man? You got the, the basic text coming down, but it gives you visual delight as far as like the graphics of what's going on in the background. And the sound, as far as the pieces go, it's like a, a a symphony of good good melody, and it speeds up and gets fast, and you really get into it. You bobbing your head while you're playing this game, man. It is a really fun game, man. And the difficulty factor of it is is heightened as well, too, as far as with the uh, music and everything as well. But man, you have something called a Tetris effect, so basically it slows it down, so you can get all the uh, get all the pieces and do a uh, I forgot the exact word of it when they get like 16 lines or whatever. A tetronomy or something like that. I don't know. I'm probably murdering it or mm -hmm. whatever, right? But man, nice, cool features with this stuff, man. Very fun game to play. Hours of entertainment. You will get frustrated. You probably will throw the controller at the TV because <laughs> <laughs> that's just who you are. <laughs> right. So make sure. <laughs> and playing in the VR, man, because you can look around and everything, bring it further and closer to you, man, so you can see it. One time I had it all up to my screen. I'm up there playing Texas while I watched the box go down like this and move my head and stuff like that, man. Very fun game, man. You wouldn't think it would be this fun, man, but it is really fun playing this game, bro. Texas, bro. You need to play this thing. Dust your VR off. It's really dusty. I see it right now sitting over in the corner. And play this junk, bro. You will like it, bro. I mean, I, I have always liked all the Tetris games that came out. And actually, my first... Um, Dealing with Tetris is when I was able to buy my own uh, Game Boy mm -hmm. and the black and white Tetris. Yeah. And that's when the, the mayhem really started. Oh my gosh, bro. It, it, it's a cool game. So any Tetris game is, is fun. And it's not repetitive because the the shape sequence always are in a different matter. That's right. So it's not like, okay, well... Uh, it's so repetitive that you know What's going to what, be next. what shape yeah. is going to be, whatever you know. what I'm saying so. Mm -hmm. I, I think it. I think it's probably good, but as a game that I will play oftenly, that that would be something where, I, you know, got so many games, like 700 games that we have here at mm -hmm. the game show that you can share play if you're a Patreon member, and but th that would be something where I'm like really bored and. It'd be probably one of the last games that I think about playing. But I'm not saying that to say that it's a bad game. Um, it would probably be a, a, a good game for me. It's one of my first loves besides uh, Mario. My, my my second love, I, I would say that. But <laughs> with the, uh, uh, the shapes and the sounds, um, you know, my only concern with that is it has like the bright lights and stuff like yeah. that. Then you put it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it does. It does tell you for people that have seizures and stuff like that, or prone seizures, or photosynthesis, or whatever you know the stuff. Too many bright lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this definitely is not a game for you. But if you trip on that stuff, man, you know. <laughs> Tetris seizure. <laughs> this is a bypass or rent. Buy it if you don't have seizures, okay? <laughs> if you do have seizures, this is not the game for you. Alright? If if you do have seizures, this is the game to the black and white version. Alright? So you don't get hurt. Alright? You'll still have the music and everything like that, but just 
change the color off. Mm. Alright? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man that's all right. All right. Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> so, like always, you guys can hit us up at the Game Show, gmail.com. That's the Game Show for the night. Don't forget to head on Facebook store page for a little price. Don't forget to hit us up a few times. Don't forget to subscribe. To become a Game Show member. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Mm -hmm. Join our Steam Rise community and our website community where you get some free stuff. So we good. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We will back the game show. See you next time. Keep watching. Thanks for tuning in.